Hello everyone, this is Chris, and welcome back to another Seed Showcase. So everyone knows that in order to find a good seed for Bedrock Edition, you have to A, either be incredibly lucky, or B, do plenty, plenty of seed searching to find, to find the thing you've been after. And so ever since I started doing Seed Showcases, I've kind of made it a habit of doing plenty of seed searching, doing it basically almost every single day ever since I started doing, like, you know, showcasing different types of seeds. And if you know anything about something like, I don't know, speed running, you know that the seed needs to be really set for, like, a set speed running seed. You need to have, like, perfect conditions, perfect stuff, perfect, basically perfect everything, or as perfect as you can be. Which made it a really big shame when in point uh, 58 of 1.16, fixed a um or changed the way uh rune portals spawn which broke ibx toy cat speed running seed his old seed so for the past couple weeks he's had a uh, he's had no attempt to try and to try and beat the record i believe of 11 minutes and in case you've been following with this channel you might know that uh, a new a new speed running seed has been found uh because i do again a lot of seed searching i decide to try try my hardest to find as good of a speed running seed as i possibly can and i think i and i think i did and the seed in case you're wondering is on screen like the all those numbers type those in and yeah you will get the the same type of speed running seed and if I'm honest, I was a little on edge as to whether or not I should show it off because, again, if you follow his channel, you you know how the seed is, you know what the thing has. But I figured, you know what, I'll I'll show it off anyway, and I'll uh, I'll explain some things along the way as to you know how I found it and things like that. So he spawned in right here, right where this slime block is, right on the edge of AM of a snowy tundra and things like that. Perfect for getting a snowballs in case you want to take out the end towers that way. But that's not the only thing that it has right at spawn because also um uh, apart from like the speed running bit there's also has a uh, quite a bit of interesting terrain around the place such as this massive massive uh forest biome i believe or a plains biome i don't know i don't know if it's a forest or a plains but it, you have a huge huge mountain up here which is yeah perfect for building on top of in case you want to build a small little starter house up here but in case you are using this for, I don't know, say, speed running or something like that, then what you want to do is you want to head to this village right here. Um, first off, to get some to get some crops, some free crops from these these hay bales, you get plenty of food. So speed running or not, you still have plenty of plenty of food to go around. But also, if in case you want to, you know, do some speed running, like what I said, and you want to dig right down here, right past this gravel. Maybe get some flint on the way. You dig right the way down here. Not too far, actually. And you fall into, look at this, the, the stronghold right here. And not only that, you also get a, uh, what the? Uh, Minecraft? Uh, there's supposed to be a chest right here. Um, are you okay? I mean, you, you're kind of missing something right here. That's most likely a bug, but what would normally spawn here is um iron, uh, some gold, and some apples to, you know, to get some buckets and some flint and steels. You want to head your way around this way, around up here. First off, to go past another empty chest. I don't know why it's missing. Um, Again, uh, betas, bugs, all that sorts of things, but the, what should be here is, um, is some boots, some bread, and things like that. For you to uh, for you to go to the go to the end, but to go to the end you need uh, you need to go to the Nether and go to the Nether we have. So you get right around here, right around uh, a bunch of magma, a bunch of gravel, and things like that. Uh, but what made me want to show this seed off and share it with uh, people like Toy Cat is if you head right down this way, you'll find a bastion right here. And not only that, if you dig your way right around here, then you'll come across gold. But not just two blocks gold, you'll actually come across about eight to nine gold blocks scattered around this little area. So if we just dig our way around, we'll find a, a couple more. Yep, loads and loads of gold to do loads and loads of trading. And because uh, bastions spawn in a lot, and I mean a lot of pigments, that means you can get a lot of trading done. And because... Uh, Piglins can trade um, ender pearls. That means that one step of getting to the end is is taken care of. Oh, and let's not forget our one true savior of a speedrunning seed, Pigstep. 
but in all seriousness, after getting your um your ender pearls and things like that, then what you want to do is you want to head right up this way, right up the this little steep hill. I mean, it's it's a bit of an uphill uphill stretch, but yeah, I, I think it's totally worth it because the first thing you'll come across is what we need to finish the eyes of ender, a blaze spawner right here. The first the first little bit of nether fortress spawning is a blaze spawner which is absolutely absolutely perfect as long as the uh, the blaze is cooperate and actually give you the uh, give you the rods and in case you're using this seed just as a normal seed then this is actually one of the biggest biggest fortresses i think i've seen in quite a while because it stretches all the way out this way and it keeps going and going on and on right until you hit a um one of the new biomes the uh, crimson forest i believe yeah the crimson forest right out here so yeah massive massive fortress plenty plenty of things to find in here and yeah plenty of reasons to add to it and from the look of things it looks like the entire nether fortress is completely surrounded by this uh this crimson forest so in case you're really really looking for that crimson wood or the um nylium i believe it's called nylium or hog lens or something like that then totally totally head head out this way and yeah, after that, then you should have everything you need to head to the end to fight the dragon and to uh, to beat the game. Hopefully in a in a pretty decent time too. Uh, yeah, unfortunately the the portal is completely empty, but with the uh, the piglin trains with all sorts of things like that, it should be possible even about at a uh, 12 minutes and 40. 44, 43 seconds or something like that, which is what Toy Cat actually did on this seed. So what made me want to share this and show this off with you guys? Well, for the past couple months, ever since I heard how scarce bedrock seeds are compared to Java's and how like incredibly rare like the Eye of Ender thing in the portal is compared to Java's with like 400 quintillion seeds, quadrillion or something like that. Yeah, that made me want to try, try, and try again to find a seed which has, like, as many Eyes of Ender or Ender Pearls inside the portal as I could possibly find. And sadly, uh, I couldn't find any more than five. I think I found about two or three seeds with five, but I couldn't find anything, anything more than that. And then Toy Cat started speedrunning. He began at a 1.14 seed, which honestly isn't great looking at the numbers now and the times but still he managed to get a, a really really good time and then 1.16 came out which added the bastions and the piglins which made like everything turn upside down made things so much faster and so then that made me curious how much faster could we make it and so over the past month or so, I have been looking far and wide across hundreds upon hundreds of seeds to find the perfect, the perfect type of speedrunning seed, which could work for pretty much any version. And I did at one point until uh, the 0.58 update, which changed the, um, the portal spawning mechanics. So then again, I had to go back looking, back seed hunting and back looking over and over again for hundreds upon hundreds of seeds until I found this one which I honestly was not sure if it was a good speed running seed or not like I don't really speed run that much I'm not that good at it I'm too much pressure for me but I don't know I thought it was good enough to share off and you know everything was in one place and things like that and I figured again sharing it off on, on Twitter first off and that led to him speed running, and then that, yeah, led him to get a time of just under 13 minutes. So that makes it all well and good, right? Speed running has a new seed and things like that, and we could potentially get a lower number within the next few weeks, right? <sighs> if only it was that easy. And I say that because in Java Edition, one of the more recent snapshots in Java Edition, what they actually did is they slightly reduced the amount of uh, bastions that could spawn in a world. And because Java and Bedrock are working on making parity in a 1.16 as close as they possibly can, that means that in a future beta, this seed might not actually work. Uh, the big thing that makes a seed work is actually is actually the bastion and Without the Bastion, without getting like um, the Ender Pearls and things like that, I don't know if this 
Sieg to be viable as a speedrunning one. But I'm just completely theorizing. Maybe they maybe they won't change the spawn rates. Maybe this will be in the 1.16 full release. Maybe maybe we'll actually get lucky, but I don't know. If they are going to go for as close to parity as possible, then this potentially could be on the cutting cutting room floor. But we'll have to see where uh, where the next few few betas will go and we'll have to hope. Hope that uh hope that Bastion spawning stays stays as is. And if it does stay as is, then I wish all the all the speedrunners the best with uh with this seed and hopefully we'll get uh we'll get the number under the uh the current record, which I believe is somewhere somewhere above eleven minutes just about. So yeah, hopefully we can beat that. Hopefully we can see that go down even more to match Java even closer, but until then we'll just have to have to try our best. And yep, that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to say about in this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you for all the newcomers who found my channel. Thanks to this one seed. And yeah, I hope to see you again in the future. But for now, that's all I have for you now. So thanks for watching and I will see you all later.